Hi guys, what's up? Jay here from Born to Produce, and today I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to start chopping up vocals and perhaps start making a remix of a track that you've always liked. And I'm going to show you a really, really quick and easy way to do that, so let's get on with it. So, first of all, I'm just going to bring up a little simple drum loop, uh, Control P to bring up your audio pool, and just going to bring in a house beat. No biggie there, it's just 128 uh, BPM. That's quite loud, so we'll just bring that down a bit. Uh, let's just highlight it, press P. Okay, now we're going to bring in a, an acapella. Okay, just going to use this acapella here that I um, just downloaded from SoundCloud, just for the purposes of this demo. And we don't need this uh, section here, so just right click, get the scissor tool, and delete that. So just right click to go back to the pointer. Now I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to chop this up. I used to do it manually, but now there's a much easier way of doing it. So just double click it, and your window will look, will look like this. And what you want to do is click on hit points, and then um, Cubase is going to search for all the transients in the audio, and sort of detect which sections that it thinks you want. But you can reduce the threshold or increase the threshold so it's much less sensitive. And you just want to sort of do this with a bit of trial and error. You can see where the sections are. That's gonna, it's going to chop in these lines. And each one of these little sections we can map to a key on your keyboard. You've also got maximum length here which also helps with the sensitivity of the slices. So that looks probably about right, perhaps a bit less on the threshold because I want this whole section here, for example, rather than it being in half. So let's just let's just give that a go anyway. So you press create slices, and there you go, Cubase has chopped that up for us. And all we're gonna do is chuck this into Groove Agent, um, really great drum module and sampler as well. So just right click, add instrument track. Uh, it's just going to search on Groove Agent. Quickly do this for you. So I want this video to be very quick. And all we've got to do is drag this chopped up sample onto the first pad, C1. And believe it or not, Cubase goes and does it all for you. It maps all the little slices there onto all these drum pads, which can obviously be triggered by your MIDI keyboard. And, and, you're, you're I'm just going to show you that by clicking the mouse. And if it's not quite sliced it how you want it to, you can always adjust the um, start and finish times in the sample here and on each pad. So, for example, you wanted to start there. You can do that, no problem at all. Now it says your, so so let's have a look by pressing it on the keyboard. So you get the idea there. You can. Um, start messing about with that. Um, obviously it's a bit hit and miss, but I'm sure you can probably come up with something um, decent kind of rhythm. So let's just give that a go. Let's just press play on the house beat just to give us some kind of structure. I need 
Well, hopefully that's just giving you a very, very quick introduction to how it can be used, and obviously you need to spend a bit more, a bit more time on it to get something decent going. But of course, instead of chopping up vocals, you could chop up a drum loop, or anything you like, basically, to uh, create your own original remix. So, hope that's helped, guys, and um, look forward to seeing you on the uh, next quick video. If, of course, you want more detailed videos and want to have a look at our other courses available, for example, we do start to finish tutorials where we make a complete track from nothing all the way to the final mix down, then come and have a look at us. So, I've been Jay from Born to Produce, and thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Bye.